Hi, John here with another quick tutorial on getting started with Vivaldi. Today we're going to run through three things you should try right away. First up, creating a tab stack. A tab stack is a group of tabs. It's as simple as that. You can create them in a few different ways, but the easiest is to drag one tab on top of another until it becomes darker. Release the tab and it will create a tab stack. This is a great way to keep things organized, or cut down clutter when you have a huge amount of tabs open. Check out the link in the description for a few more ways to create tab stacks. Besides keeping your tabs tidy, tab stacks are a great way to try the next tip. Viewing tabs in split screen. In Vivaldi, you can create split screen views with the click of a button to browse multiple tabs at the same time. We call this tab tiling. To create a tiled view, you'll need to select several tabs or use a tab stack. Try it out by right clicking on the tab stack you just made. Select Tile Tabs from the menu to create a tiled view of the tabs that were in your tab stack. You can scroll them independently, resize them, or even add other tabs to the split screen by dropping them into your tab stack. Using the tiling menu in the status bar, you can choose different configurations depending on how many tabs are included, including a grid view to display four or more tabs in the same window. On to tip number three, adding a web panel. Speaking of split screens, there's also a way to quickly open your favorite sites in split screen with your main browser window. They're called web panels, and you can add one to Vivaldi in just a few steps. Firstly though, if the main side panel is hidden, click the show panel icon on the left side of the status bar. You can see I've already added Twitter and Wikipedia as web panels here. Clicking on my Twitter panel will expand it to show the page in split screen with the other tab I have open. Web panels are great for messenger apps or feed style websites like Twitter or Instagram or other sites like this you find yourself visiting multiple times a day. Now to add a new web panel, click the plus sign. You can either add the tab you currently have open, in this case Reddit, pick from the suggestions based on your browsing history, or manually enter a different domain. I'll add Instagram, which works great. And that's it. The new web panel is added and ready to use. So give those three things a shot and let us know what you think.